Hi everyone, it's Heidi with the Osborne Experience. Wanted to show you a few little hidden gem series that Osborne has that you can use for stocking stuffers this holiday season or all year round, but this is a great idea for stocking stuffers. We have these Osborne Young Puzzle Packs and each pack has three books in it for $9.99. So that makes each of these books $3.33, which makes them great stocking stuffers if you want to put one in each of your kids' stockings or however the math works out. This one has Puzzle Jungle, Puzzle Island, and Puzzle Ocean. And the other pack that we have has Puzzle Mountain, Puzzle Farm, and Puzzle Train. And these are recommended for ages six and above. And they are what they sound like. They're filled with problem solving puzzles. And they follow the same um, characters through each book. So this one is Mountain Climber Puppy Pixax. And you'll see the contents there. And it talks about how the book works. So it goes over that this is about a brave mountain climber called Poppy Pixax, her pet puppy Bernard, and their adventures on Puzzle Mountain. Um, it tells you a little bit about Puzzle Mountain um, and talking about a climbing um, expedition and it shows you things to spot along the way and it talks about some other characters you may see in the book and it does have reading on it so it does read like a story um, but each two-page spread has a puzzle this one is um, spotting. There are eight other climbers. Can you spot them? After it talks about Poppy here. Which path? So there's a problem solving. Um, which path will lead you to the top of the mountain? You can see all the little um, different distinguishing signs that they have to be able to read. This one is Mountain Musicians. Again, there's some text on each page. Poppy bounded up the path. Soon she heard spluttering noises and saw an old man trying to conduct a small band of musicians. Um, and it goes through the story and it's asking you to spot the difference uh, in each picture. Then they're spotting seven lost goats. Here you're looking for four missing skaters uh, based on some context clues that they're giving you. What can Poppy buy to eat and drink? And what can she buy for Bernard to eat and drink with just 10 puzzle pennies? And so we're doing a little math here and you can see that each of the food items has a price on it. Um, so that one's really good for like first grade, second grade, ski lift. Poppy licked the crumbs from her lips and left the restaurant. She set off up the path once more, but stopped and she saw a group of great, great, eight grumpy looking skiers and it talks about the grumpy skiers and then it asks do you know which skier should use which chair and it goes through a problem solving scheme please read instructions before taking lift blue chair two adults only red chair one very tall person only green chair two adults with hats only and so your child has to use their problem solving skills to figure out who's going to go on which chairlift i used to love those kinds of things here you're looking for matching skis. We've got some mazes, again, all with the story unfolding. Look at this ice walk. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Um, a safe route across the glacier, picking up six ice cream cones as you go. Sounds chilly. Then we've got a little comic strip, and it asks what has Poppy spotted? I don't know. I don't know what Poppy spotted. And I love that in the pictures there are little comic bubbles um, to read to keep things just really engaging and interesting. Um, how fun. There's just so much to do on each page. And it goes back and it says, could you spot these people? And the answers are here for you too. So not just a mountain, but we've got a farm with all kinds of really cool problem solving activities. Can you position the other two poles so that each bull is in a separate part of the field? Such good stuff for when you guys 
when you guys, when the kids are stuck inside the house um, to keep their brains going through Christmas vacation, it says, um, which is Tilly's hat? Uh, and it gives you context clues. Harry, remember that Tilly's hat was mostly red and the flowers on it weren't blue or green. It should be easy to find. So what great books to fill stockings this season um, for only $3.33 each. You can find these and more at my website, www.theosborneexperience.com. And you can find me on Facebook at The Osborne Experience with Heidi. I can't wait to give these to my five-year-old, soon to be six, kindergartner. We're going to have so much fun with these this winter. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.